In mathematics, one of the most important concepts taught in the early years is numbers and number system. It is quite central to everything that is learned in mathematics in the later years. After the initial idea of numbers and counting, soon you will come to this issue of having to teach the higher numbers. And that's when we would need to teach the very basics of our number system, which is the place value system. Now, across the world, we use this place value system for numbers and it becomes very important to understand this well. However, as teachers, we often experience that after the usual classes in teaching place value system. Understand this, let us purposely let us look at some other ways of representing numbers. Then we will understand and appreciate more as to what is the particular way in which we write numbers in the place value system. Suppose we are counting beans. One simple method would have been that we put one dot for each bean that is there. There are two beans, we put two dots. This would have been the simplest way of writing and representing numbers in writing. But as you can see, when we have more number of beans, this becomes very clumsy way of uh, writing numbers. So now let's look at another way of representing numbers. Suppose for each number, we put different, different symbols. Uh, suppose we use this kind of symbol, one symbol for one, one symbol for two. Suppose we use this kind of a mechanism. The problem with that is, as we get larger and larger number uh, numbers, we will have more and more symbols and it is difficult to remember so many symbols. So this method also becomes clumsy very soon. All the numbers till 5 and for numbers from 6 onwards, we put the same symbol again and when two symbols are put next to each other, we have to add these two numbers to get the number. While this method reduces the number of symbols we need, you can see that when we are trying to write the number 36, we have to put the five symbols seven times and then put the symbol of one. So just to write a number 36, we have to write the same symbol so many times. So even this method has its limitations. Then someone hit upon our idea of writing numbers, which is the place value system. Let us see how this works in comparison to the other methods that we saw till now. In this method, till nine, we have different symbols. So one, two, three, that way till nine, we'll have very different symbols. Now, after 9, when we add one more bean, we do something very special. What we do is, we draw a line and we move all the beans now to the left side. These 10 beans on the left side, we put it inside a bag. From now on, we will treat the left side as different from the right side. On the right side, we have no more beans left, so it is 0. So we will write 0. And on the left side, we don't count the independent beans anymore. We only count the number of bags. We have put the 10 beans in one bag and we start counting only the bags. And how many bags are there? One, right? So we write one. That is how one and zero come and that is how we write 10. So now when we add one more bean, we add it to the right side and since there is one independent bean on the right side, we write a 1 below. On the left side, we still have only one bag, so we put a 1. That's how 11 comes. Similarly, when we add more beans one by one, we get a 1 on the left and a 2 on the right, which is 12 and then 13 and 14, etc. Since this is important, let us emphasize this once more. Suppose we write a number like 11, the 1 on the left side is the number of bags, that is the number of bags with 10 beans inside the bag. So in the case of 11, it is only one bag with 10 beans. That is what the number on the left side indicates. Similarly, the number on the right side is the number of independent beans. In 11, there is only one independent bean outside the bag. So that is what the one on the right side indicates. While teaching this concept, and even generally in maths, it is uh, a good idea to proceed in three steps. In the first step, it is better to deal with the concept as much as possible using concrete objects, like we use the beans and putting the beans in the bag. It is good to do it physically. Then in the second step, you can move it to books, which is workbooks and textbooks or even draw on the board. At that time, we can start using pictures. 
we can draw pictures or we can have workbooks with pictures then as a third step we can come to the stage where we actually write the numerals and we uh, deal only with the numerals directly so it is better to proceed in these three steps after many months we will slowly start teaching higher numbers and we go from uh, the 10 and the 11 etc that we saw to higher numbers like 20 30 40 so like that slowly we'll approach the three digit number that is uh, st we'll start using the hundreds place let's uh, try to understand how 100 comes about so to recap we saw how 10 comes about we we'll slowly add beans to the right side and the moment we have 10 beans we move it to the left and put it inside a bag and on the right side now since there are no beans we write a zero and the number of bags on the left side is one so we write one zero after this we again add the beans one by one on the right side and we get 11 12 etc once we have 19 then when we add one more bean we again put it inside a bag and move it to the left that's how we get 20. in a similar manner as we go to higher and higher numbers we get 30 40 50 60 etc and slowly we reach 90. now let us see what happens after 90. when we add one more bag we have 10 small bags in this tens place so we take a bigger bag and we move all the 10 small bags again even further to the left side now what we do is we count the number of big bags on the leftmost side how many big bags are there one bag is there so we put a one below that now in the middle column we have no small bags so we put a zero on the rightmost column we have no independent beans so we put a zero below that is how we get one zero zero that is hundred now as we go to even higher numbers so we get 110 120 like that we go to 190 after this as we add more beans we put the beans uh, slowly one by one on the rightmost column so we get all the way till 199 now when we add one more bean because there are 10 beans we move it to the left side and put it in a small bag and again we get 10 small bags in the middle column so what do we do we move all the 10 bags to the leftmost column and we put it in another larger bag so we get two large bags on the leftmost side so we put a two below we don't have any small bags in the middle column so we put a zero below and we don't have any independent beans on the right side so we put a zero below that's how we get 200 after this the same pattern continues as we add the beans one by one we get 201 202 203 etc and that process goes on